Hello, this is Marvazir and welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. So, the game just got a patch with two new classes and three new bosses, so I figured I'll check it out. I managed to recruit the new classes from the stagecoach. I got one Arbalist and one Men at Arms. Men at Arms is a melee class, as you might have guessed, and the Arbalist is a ranged class. I bought all the skills that they had. They both have the mark target mechanic, similar to the bounty hunter and some interesting skills. So let's go over these skills real quick. There's a sniper's mark, which marks the target, and sniper shot, which does extra damage, which gives the Arbalest a self buff, which increases her damage versus marked targets, and crit chance versus marked targets. There's also suppressing fire skill, which does a little bit of damage to the three targets in the back, and decreases their accuracy and the chance to crit. There's the Bola skill, which is an interesting one. It hits two targets in the front and it has a knockback and minus 50% damage mod. So it does decent ish damage and it can knock back both targets at the same time. This is also an interesting skill. It targets a random enemy, so you can't control which enemy you're going to shoot with this. But it has a plus 9 speed self buff. Plus 9 speed is insane. I'm quite interested to see how this is going to work in practice. Also minus 33% damage mod, so it does pretty decent damage, nothing crazy, but the plus 9 speed is just amazing. And we also got Battlefield Bandage, which does a little bit of healing, but also increases the healing received by the target. I quite like that. And there's Rolling Flare, which is extra torch, but it also clears stun and clears marked target. So that's really nice. That's a nice stun counter. And then we got the Men at Arms dude. He has the basic melee attack, crush, 85 base accuracy and 5% base crit. And here's his first or second skill, Rampart. So this moves him forward one position and it also has a knockback and a stun. So this is quite interesting, pretty good skill. And it does fairly decent damage, minus 50%. But considering it has both knockback and a stun, I quite like this. He also has a skill that hits everything and decreases dodge and speed of all the enemies. He has 20% protection buff. Also guard ally, I didn't have a chance to use it just yet, so maybe we'll do it in this run. In fact, I didn't do any runs with these two new classes. This will be my first one. There's also Retribution, which has 85 base accuracy, minus 40% damage, and it gives you a self-protection buff. So the way I understand this is that it marks you and gives you an attack when you get attacked. But we'll test this in practice. There's also a plus 5 accuracy buff on any of your group members and bolster which is plus 5 dodge and plus 2 speed so this guy can buff other group members quite nicely he has two skills that buff other group members all right so let's do this then this is my old run so i do have all my high level characters here let's go and see what's available now as i mentioned the patch added three new bosses I do already have them here, I think. Yep, here's the first one. And here's the second one, Brigand Pounder. And the third one, the Prophet. But we're not doing a boss run here. Although, I suppose I could? I don't know. Well, I guess I actually could do it. Ancestral item. Yeah, that's not bad. And another ancestral item. Plus 15% virtual chance, plus 15% stress resist, minus 15% damage. I don't like minus 15% damage. What about this? Plague Doctor. Do I even have a single Plague Doctor? No, I do not. Alright. And what about this one? Highwayman. Plus 25% damage with ranged skills, plus 15 accuracy. Oh, this is really nice. Okay. For a Highwayman with ranged skills only. Okay, let's do this run. We'll do the Brigand Pounder. And I'll bring the new classes. 
So, let's see. He will be in the back. He will be in the front. And we need two more. Maybe someone with decent skills. Well, obviously, we need a healer. There's no question about that. Maybe I should upgrade their weapons or something. Or skills. No, I can't buy any new skills. Let's upgrade weapons and armor. Like this. And I could bring a Hellion. That works. Okay, so upgrade this. There. That's going to be our group. Hellion. Vestal. Men at Arms. And Arbalest. And we're going to do the wield. This is a medium dungeon. Yep, let's do it. Now, I don't know anything about these new bosses. I avoided spoilers. So this will be the first time for me fighting the new boss. Which means I have no idea what to expect. But hey, that's going to make it more fun, right? <laughs> we'll grab the food. Let's just get enough food. So that we won't starve. 20 food. I have a lot of money, so it's not really a big deal. And a shovel or two. This should be fine. Alright, let's go. Simple Looking forward to it. Their nature loquacious. And the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, all turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Alright then. So, let's take a look. The boss should be over here, or here. Yep. Let's move then. Oh, also, the old bosses got buffed at higher levels, apparently. So, they have some nastier abilities. Or, or at least their higher level versions have nastier abilities. So, like, level 3 version, level 6 version. A level 5 version, I mean. Right, so. Let's see. Well, I kind of want to test this retribution skill. But maybe not right now. We surprise them. Let's just use the basic melee attack and kill the ectoplasm. No need to use a stun, I don't think so. Yeah, we definitely don't need a stun here. And judgment just to kill him faster. And we got a shot. Confidence surges as there. the enemy crumbles. Good start. We got a little bit of gold. Not that I really need gold. I have lots. Although upgrading skills and gear is quite expensive. Still, gold is not exactly a problem in this game, at least in its current state. You have to try really hard to not get a lot of money. We got another torch. Oh yeah, I don't have medicine for this, but let's pick it up anyway. We got more food. Use that torch. Most of these grubs should be pretty easy. Especially since I have two fully upgraded level 2 heroes. Okay, that's pretty nasty blight right there. Let's see, I could use a stun on the Scratcher. Not a bad idea. Only 25% stun resist. So there we go. But Rain of Blight is pretty annoying. That's 4 damage per round. So... 3 to 6 damage. Let's just use the basic attack skill. To kill the brawler faster. Yep. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Now the artillery. Actually blind fire first. Like so. That will give us the plus 9 speed buff. So she should go again before the enemies get a chance to attack us. Let's use that retribution skill. So... Hit this guy, and that gives us a self buff. Yeah, so that gives us a free attack when this dude gets attacked. But it also marks him. I wonder 
He had a skill that removes marked. I mean, the Arbalest had a skill. Or was it Men at Arms? Where was that skill that removes stun? Oh, yeah, this one. So I wonder if you can use Retribution and then clear marked. That should work, right? I see no reason why it wouldn't. Anyway, group heal. Also, heals can crit now, which is nice. That wasn't possible previously. And here's another free attack. I really like that retribution skill. I don't like being marked, but... It seems he retaliates every time something hits him. Even if an AoE skill hits him. So that's really good. Anyway, let's focus on killing these things. As the fiend falls, a faint Down he goes. Blossoms. And... Yeah, just kill the Scratcher. So... Right, I can't actually test that skill because I don't have it equipped. Where was it? Yeah, this one. But I assume it will work. I see no reason why it wouldn't. Okay, actually I should have used Bola. That would have done more damage. But it's fine. No, you don't. You'll be fine. Stop complaining. We don't have any bandages. A trifling You'll survive. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. There's one fight in the corridor. Let's keep moving. I already like the Men at Arms class. Don't know about Arbalest yet. But the Men at Arms is a pretty interesting class. Would like to get more of these guys if possible. So, let's actually use Bala this time to kill the ectoplasms faster. Now like that. And... I could stun them both, I suppose. Don't give them a chance to multiply. Hit the Acolyte. I don't like extra stress. Such a yeah, that's a crit. With an attack that increases stress. That was plus 33 stress. That's pretty nasty. Anyway. Kill the ectoplasms. And... Kill the acolyte. Yeah, 43 stress already. That's kind of bad. Oh well, he's fine. Remind yourself oh, also, confidence. they have some Slow pretty good camping killer. skills. So, for example, this one. Kill all companions for 15%. That's pretty good. Also, a really nice self buff. Plus 10 accuracy to ranged skills. Plus 20% damage to ranged skills. And plus 5% crit. Plus 2 speed to all companions. So, there are some really nice camping skills on the Arbalest. And the Man at Arms has some decent ones as well. A really good self buff. Plus 10 accuracy. Plus 20% damage. Plus 3% crit. A buff that can be used on another group member, which is basically exactly the same as this one. So that's pretty damn good. Plus 20% damage and plus 10 accuracy. So he can effectively buff two group members. He can buff half the group with plus 10 accuracy, plus 20% damage, plus 3% crit, as in himself and one other group member. Since you can only use one camping skill once. Once per camp. Anyway, let's move on. We still have to kill the boss, obviously. And as I said, I have no idea what to expect from the boss. I've not done any of these new bosses. And I avoided spoilers. I will camp before the boss. He might not be in this corner, but we'll see. Doesn't really matter which way I'm going to go. I'll check this corner first. But there's at least one more fight first. Yeah, that was not a great start. Okay. I will definitely use Retribution here. Oh, great. Our healer got pulled to the front. That's pretty bad. Because I can't use healing skills from there. So that was basically a wasted turn. Come on, let me move already. There we go, that's better. So let's use Retribution then. Like so. And he needs some heals. And bleeds. Kill the Acolytes first. And... Hmm, Bola? No, I think I'll use Blind Fire first. 
That's plus 9 speed. Yeah, this guy needs a heal. Now I can use Bola. Nice. Didn't kill any of them, but that was pretty good damage. 18 damage. Now, he's marked, but we killed one brawler with retaliation. I really like that skill. That has to be my favorite new skill so far. Yeah, that's just amazing. Okay. Nope, missed. I don't like the marked part, but I assume it can be removed with the Arbalest skill. So, group heal, not really have a big choice. Nice, we got a crit heal exactly when we needed it. So, crush, kill the brawler, and now we can kill the acolyte. The Arbalest single target damage is not that great. Well, unless you use the mark target and then a sniper shot. But that takes two turns. The base stats on the sniper shot are actually pretty good. Don't really need to mark anything. Also, she would synergize well with the bounty hunter. You can mark stuff with the bounty hunter and then use their ballast. Anyway, kill the acolyte. Nice. Going well so far. Let's move them around a bit. There. Okay, let's move on. I'll check this corner first. I will camp in this room. Okay, one more fight at least. Now I can heal a single target specifically. Yeah, these things are pretty annoying. Our stress level is getting dangerously high on the Arbalest. I blame the plus 33 stress early on. That was actually huge. 81 stress. I can reduce it once we come. Okay, let's get the speed. Like so. And maybe stun. That should help. Wow, yeah, this guy is down to zero. He has a fraction of health. He's not at death's door. So... Plus 20% protection. Well, I suppose that will help him. But I need to heal him. So, Bola this time. Kill that stupid thing in the back. Not much point using retaliation, I don't think so. Rampart might be useful here. To we'll knock it back. There we go. Now the artillery is closer, and now we need a heal. Yeah, he's still at 6 hit points only. That's not amazing. But he has plus 6 protection. Bola again. Or I can just use sniper shot. That's actually way better here. Yeah, I should use sniper shot more often. It doesn't really require a marked target. But it will do crazy damage against a marked target. Okay, that was a kill combined with the bleed. Perhaps the turning point. Hmm. I think I'd rather use a heal. It's unlikely I'll be able to kill the Scratcher with one hit from the healer. And I suppose I would have killed him if I did at least one damage there. Done. Okay, now we can camp in the next room. There might be a fight in here, I suppose. Yep, there is a fight. And we got surprised. That's pretty annoying. At least I can use my healer, so that's a positive. Let's get a group heal. But I have to move the Arbalest before she will be able to do anything useful. Hmm. Artillery or Scratcher first? Scra oh, that's a crit. Nice. Okay, well, I can still use Blind Fire. I do have a skill on the Men at Arms that will move him forward. That was Rampart, I think. No, that wasn't the one. Maybe I'm thinking about a skill that I didn't pick up. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about... 
Where was it? Oh yeah, this one, yeah, that's Rampart. So we can use that. And that will move the Herbalist. Decent. I don't like these things too much. I have to say. Blind fire again, I don't really have a choice. Or well, I suppose I can move to be able to use the Hellion a bit better. Group heal again. Would have preferred a crit heal on the Mana Times, but alright. Retribution. Okay. Also, I should change my skills a bit before the boss. So we will do that. Nice. Yeah, I really like that skill. <laughs> it's just amazing. Come on, kill it already. Down it goes. Okay, now we need to camp and heal up, get some buffs. I don't have any keys. What did we get? Some gold. Alright. So let's see. I need to swap some of these skills around. So I want the rallying flare. What can we replace? I might need sniper's mark against the boss. I want to keep both Bola and Blind Fire, but I don't know how useful Bola will be against the boss. If the boss doesn't have any ads in the front row, then it will not be very useful. Okay, let's replace Bola with Rallying Flare, and I'll keep everything else. I don't think I want to swap any skills on this guy. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's come. I do have a lot of food. I think I can afford to just use as much as possible. Now, we need some healing. I think I can do some healing. Not sure. Maybe not. Oh yeah. Plus 18% heal. To everyone. Won't be the most optimal use of that ability ever. But it's still some healing. There. Still useful, even if we only healed one guy. Now, some buffs. I'll use this dude's buffs. So, the self buff for sure. That's going to be amazing with retaliation. Last and dodge to everyone. That might be useful against the boss. So, we'll use that and I can get one more. Reduce stress by 10. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 dodge. Yeah, I'll buff this guy up. Looks good. Couldn't heal them back to full, but oh well, it's fine. Less talking, more resting. The path is clear. The boss doesn't have to be here, by the way. He might be in the other corner. And it looks like he actually is. No, he's right here. Oh, okay, right. This was the most distant room from the entrance. Not sure why I thought he's going to be in the corner. <laughs> doesn't matter, I guess. There's one more fight on the way. So we will do that. Just a few spiders. Easy enough. But they do have that annoying poison, acid, whatever. Kill the green one. I don't like that one. Should have used the other skill, actually. But that's a stun. Okay. Like this. That's extra speed. Well, I can't heal anyone because my healer was stunned. Actually, yes, I can. There. That will help before the boss. I suppose I could keep that spider alive for one more turn. Just to heal myself a bit more. Just don't go overboard with that. Yeah, don't kill it just yet. Right, so that removes the mark, but it keeps the repost active. So that's a really nice combo. Screw that heal, just kill the spider. Our healer was stunned anyway. So, now I can... Wait, that's not the room yet. Right, but I can use some of the food before I enter the boss room. Because it's not like I'll need the food for anything else. 
this run will be done after the boss dies. I should use 100 light. In radiance, okay. may we find victory. All right, so now let's just use most of that food, if not all of it, just to heal back to full. There. I think everyone is at max health, or almost max health. I can't use it at 30 out of 31. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Well, this should be interesting. 50 hit points. Look at the resist. <laughs> 200 resist to everything, alright. I guess we want to be stunning that thing, or making it bleed. Or even debuffing it, so it's immune to pretty much everything. Alright, fair enough. I suppose we should kill the ads first. Bring on the matchman, okay. Should probably kill that guy. Or we can... Yep, he died. I have a bad feeling about that cannon. I really do. So, heal or try to use a stun? I'd rather stun the cutthroat. I don't like that guy. Oh, he resisted. Retribution. To activate that. Then we can clear the mark. But let's use blind fire first. To get the speed. Like so. So, cannon time. Oh, reinforcements? Alright. Bring on the matchman. I assume the Brigand Matchman will just fire the cannon, because, you know, that makes sense. Right, let's clear the mark. Oh, did it not clear it? Okay. Oh yeah, that's 25% chance, right, it's not guaranteed, so we just got fairly unlucky there. So, kill that dude in the back, the Fusilier. Like so. So now the Matchman will fire the cannon, I assume. Unless I can kill him, which I can. Alright. Bleed. Oh no, I can't use it on the front target. Okay, down he goes. So, just the cannon left now. And it will summon more matchmen. Oh, it will summon a cutthroat as well. Okay, fair enough. Let's just... Wait, no, I can't use the mark because that's a debuff. I already have the speed buff. Just use sniper shot then. We need to do more damage to that stupid cannon. It's still at 50 out of 50 hit points. I can't just keep killing the ads. I need to do damage to the cannon itself. So let's start doing exactly that. Not very impressive damage. I'll still kill that guy. Because I don't like him. I'd rather not find out what he will do with the cannon. Just saying. There. Well, that was 20% damage. So far. Not too bad. It does have protection. 6 points. Which is why it takes less damage. Oh, no sniper shot. Kill that matchman again. This is going okay so far. I think I can just ignore the fusilier. But I will get a group heal. He can't do a whole lot from the front row. He would have to be in the back to be really dangerous. It might take a while to destroy that cannon. I can just stun these guys. Yeah. That's going to make our life a bit easier. For a turn or two. More reinforcements. I don't have Iron Swan on my Hellion. No need for more heals. Oh, he dodged. Great. Alright, and I can't reach him. Fine. I guess we're about to find out what he will do. Yeah, I would have to be in the front to use Aaron's one. Okay then. Let's bleed the brigand. Or the cutthroat, I mean. I still have a chance to kill that matchman. There we go. He's down. I just assume it's a good idea to keep him down. Because, you know, that makes sense. I'm improvising. 
Okay, here's another one. 35 out of 50. Judgment. Oh yeah, zero damage? Right. Well, at least that was a heal. So there's that. Use another stun. That will debuff me even more. Let's just kill the Cathrod. Sniper shot. Not enough damage. Okay then. We dodged. I can still kill the matchman, I suppose. There we go. But need to do more damage to do that cannon. Here comes another one. I will be ignoring the fusilier. He's not that dangerous. I can afford to ignore him. So, judgment. Well, we did one damage at least. There, that's much better. 25 crit. He's down to 10 hit points out of 50. Okay, that will make it much better. Down to 3 hit points. We can do it. And down it goes. Awesome. The matchman didn't get a chance to do anything. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Better luck next time. Here, have some of this. So that looked pretty easy, but I suppose I didn't find out what the cannon will do if we keep the matchman alive. <laughs> Nothing good. Let's kill the guy and go home. So I really like the men at arms so far. Not sure how to feel about their ballast. Really? Come on. There, he's dead. Did we get Littering anything good? Uh, not a whole lot. Paid for in blood. And that's that. Oh yeah, we did get the Highwayman Ancestral item. This is pretty damn good. I will definitely use it on one of my Highwaymen. That's huge buff to ranged skills. Just need to skip melee skills on anyone who's going to use that item. Okay. Minus 15% damage on the first round. That's not very good. Okay. Plus 5 dodge. Nice. Well, it would be better on a melee. I see something long so that was one of the new bosses and the run is over. I'm going to finish this part here and continue the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.